Are you a maker or do you know a maker and do you want to get them something they'll love this Christmas, not just another t-shirt they don't need or a book they won't read? Well, in this video, I'm going through my top 10 Christmas gift ideas for makers. So let's get started. <laughs> Close enough. How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and welcome to another top 10 gift ideas for makers video. I've done these in the past for previous Christmases and they're always a ton of fun to do. I'm all dressed up for the occasion. I am literally tinsel. And this video has various gift ideas from those for 3D printing enthusiasts to designers, makers, and even just technology enthusiasts. I'm sure you'll find something in this list that will be absolutely well appreciated by a loved one or friend. All of these gift ideas will be linked in the video description. Some are affiliate links, but not all of them. And they do help the channel if you decide to purchase the items using those links, but it's completely up to you. So let's get into the first item, a roll barn notebook. So I'm not gonna lie, I am an absolute stationary fiend. I love my notebooks and I love nothing more than a roll barn notebook. So why roll barn in particular? Well, I've used many notebooks over the years and I've settled on these, which are a high quality Japanese brand because they have a grid layout. So this is fantastic when you're planning things, you're sketching ideas and drawing concepts to 3D model or then take forwards into prototyping, you can actually use this grid to do more than just writing. And I absolutely smash through them. This is a smaller format one and I've pretty much filled this one up already. And I also really like the, the pens that are made by Delphonics. There's a big bookshop in the Sydney CBD and every time I go there, I buy myself another roll barn because I smash through them. These notebooks are great and this one's got a banana on it because why not? Um, so I really, really do like these. Personal preference, obviously, but if you find someone really enjoys drawing and sketching ideas and little concepts, and they always have a notebook with them, then they will very much appreciate a notebook like these. The next is 3D printed models. This is if you've already got a 3D printer and you want to make something awesome and unique for someone else, then I highly recommend checking out my files. I've designed heaps of things. A lot of them are free that you can print and give to people for gifts. This is one of the recent ones. I did a Styricon, which rolls really interestingly. It's a really cool toy. This is a Rubik's Cube and it's designed to make any shape you like into a Rubik's Cube. This is a paid file and there's heaps more by other designers as well. So you'll definitely find something online. I often print things for family members because I have the machines and you can make them something really unique and it's a lot of fun and they always enjoy them. Number three is Poly Alchemy Elixir PLA. This is a gift for someone who already has a 3D printer because it's a very unique type of filament. It has a very unique shine to it. I absolutely love printing with Polyarchy Elixir when I'm doing models they want to really pop when I show them in videos. This is Gold Rush. It's a really nice gold and uh, really does have a unique shine to it. My two favorite colors are actually the Gold Rush and the Nightshade Purple. I've printed many things on the channel in these two colors and I highly recommend checking out Polyarchy Elixir. He's a really good guy based in Shenzhen. It's not cheap, which is why it's a fantastic gift idea because you know it's, it's hard to justify as a maker. But trust me, if one of your family members or friends has a 3D printer and you go buy them a premium roll of filament like Polyalchemy Elixir, they'll really appreciate it. Just make sure you get the right size. Make sure you know if the 1.75 millimeter filament or three millimeter filament, 2.85 to suit their printer, make sure you buy the right one or it might be a very uh, bittersweet gift. <laughs> And I can't do a top 10 gifts video for makers without talking about 3D printers. I would recommend someone gets for someone else as a gift. So I'm not gonna recommend any kits here or very low end machines because as a gift, you buy it for someone that's probably their first printer and kits I wouldn't go for as a, as a, as a newbie because you're not gonna get them running on Christmas day. So my picks haven't really changed over the last few months. I would go with the Cetus for someone who's never printed before or maybe the Up Mini 2 if you've got a bit more cash. That's an enclosed machine with a HEPA filter, prints ABS and PLA. If you have to go a bit more on the budget side, you can check out the Ender 3. They have done lots of things to improve the machine I originally reviewed a few months ago. And if you wanna go a little bit higher, then check out the Prusa Mark III. My machines, my Mark III's have been chugging nonstop since my original review and the firmware updates have made them very reliable in my case. And I love the removable print surface. The, the, the fact the print surface is magnetic and comes off, awesome. So 
those will be the machines I would recommend for a Christmas gift. But I don't know what the lead times are. You're going to probably going to be hard pressed to get a machine from China in time for Christmas. But I do know that the Up Mini 2 and Cetus Mark 3, which is their latest one, are currently on Amazon. So you probably can get them in time. Next is a gift for someone who already has a 3D printer, the Easy Peelzy Magnetic Print Surface. I reviewed this at, on a whim not too long ago and I found this service to be awesome. And you don't even need to heat it to print PLA and it's similar to the use case for the Prusa Mark III magnetic print surface, except it's much softer. So you just take it off, it's magnetic and you, you flex it to get parts off, then you put it back on. It's, a awesome, it's an awesome upgrade for a 3D printing enthusiast who might be using something like a glass print surface or a, a, an adhesive build surface where they have to scrape at it on the print surface, which is dangerous and gets damaged and it's hard to replace. The Easy Peelzy is magnetic and you can just take it off and flex it. It's safe. I really, really recommend it, especially for kids as well, where you want to remove the need for scraper blades. I definitely recommend checking that out. And it's, it's quite affordable as, as well. So, so that's a decent gift for someone who already might have a 3D printer. Moving on from 3D printer related gifts are my favorite book recommendations. First is the 507 mechanical movements. So I use the online version for this, but I do have one on the way for a actual hard copy. But this is literally a book of 507 mechanical movements. And if you have someone in the family who is a tinkerer, uh, engineer, me mechatronics, or just love to learn how things work, they will get a huge kick out of this book. I use diagrams in it to make this one way mechanism. So this rotates and no matter which way you rotate the handle, the output is always turning uh, clockwise. The, the, diagra the diagram for this was in the 507 mechanical movements book. And I used that to reverse engineer and make this. Also this file is available too, if you would happen to want a kind of annoying clicking mechanism for whatever reason. Links again for this in the video description. The next book I would recommend would be something from the series by Rob Thompson, which is the Manufacturing Guides. I got this when I was still studying industrial design at uni. There's a, there's a range of uh, sort of specific choice ones. So this is the prototyping and low volume production, but there's also a big compendium of all the processes and materials. And it's a really decent book that goes through heaps of different processes like CNC turret punching or uh, uh, ceramic wheel throwing. So it's a really good way to expand your, your thought process in terms of design because it's often easy to get caught up in just one or two processes. But this book is really interesting to let you know what's actually out there as a designer or someone who's interested in manufacturing to learn what your limitations and opportunities are. And it's actually quite decently priced for the amount of, amount of information that's held in these volumes and it's on Amazon, so you can go check that out in the video description as well. Number eight is an Arduino kit. I've been pushing myself to do more electromechanical projects, and to do that, I've been using Arduino, and I've been looking at heaps of different beginner's kits, and something I noticed is, although you can buy kits like this one that have like a breadboard and you plug bits in, it's not great for absolute beginners because on the Arduino itself, the ground is right next to like V in and all that, so it's easy to miss where you put the pins and it's easy to blow up. So I actually recommend something more along the lines of this. This is the Grove Starter Kit from Seed Studio. And this actually works by having little bricks that have little connectors. And it makes the connections to the Arduino much more full uh, foolproof. So you're much less likely to blow it up by putting something in backwards. And a shout out to my dad who's been doing some Arduino stuff recently as well. We're gonna be playing with this this Christmas. Hope you're looking forward to it. Number nine is a set of tools, but not just any tools actually. This is gonna be pretty specific and it comes from a lot of personal experience. Weha branded tools. This is not sponsored by any means. I got these when I was doing my apprenticeship in 2008. So 10 years ago. Um, so I always thought Weha was Japanese for some reason, probably because of the name we are, but they're actually German. This screwdriver has seen so much and the tip is flawless. There's something to be said for high quality tools. And these are amazing because often kits come with like crappy hex Allen keys, but this replaces them and makes assembling kits and projects so much better. I cannot describe how much more enjoyable this is to use with its little, uh, little free spinning back compared to a shite 
Allen key. But sometimes you do have to use Allen keys. And for that, I really do like their Allen key set with their magic rings. So I, it sounds like a wank, but it's a little ring, like a little spring loaded clip that actually gets into the, the heads of the sockets and holds them in place. When you're putting things together and you're trying to line up screws, that's invaluable. I cannot say how many times this has helped me get things into tight places or pull screws out of tight places. It's better than magnetic because it works on non-ferrous screws and also doesn't get stuck to the frame of things. So the little magic ring in that Allen key set is awesome and they're actually fairly decently priced too. So these tools make a great gift for someone because it's hard to justify as a maker spending money on expensive tools. But trust me, in 10 years time, they'll be looking at these screwdrivers thinking, wow, I'm so glad that so-and-so thought about these and got them for me for that Christmas. And lastly, this one comes from left field, but it's actually the Nano Leaf Aurora. That thing. So I bought this a few months ago and it's not cheap. It is fairly expensive for some light panels, but I have to say it has really improved the mood and environment that I work in. There's something to be said for ambient lighting. Let me just show you like how easy it is to use using my phone. You know, using the app, I've made one called Christmas Rave. So that's the custom one that's running right now. And I can go into that and I can actually just say, okay, well, change how you're flowing. That's instead of being random, which it is right now, I can make it into wheel. So it's gonna start running through that cycle. I'm gonna make it faster. Uh, that's the max speed. There you go. <laughs> it's running through like that. And it's really easy to use. So yeah, it is expensive, but I can actually recommend this product for someone who you really care about and you want to add something special to the room that they actually work in. So there you have it guys, my top 10 gifts for makers. We have stuff in there for 3D printing enthusiasts, for design enthusiasts and technology enthusiasts. But what I would love to know from you guys is what do you think is the perfect gift for a maker? Please let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to read them. I would love to know what you actually think is the perfect gift for a maker. And if you're new to Maker's Muse, welcome. It is my aim to empower your creativity through technology. And maybe this Christmas you'll empower someone else's creativity by getting them an awesome gift for their making enthusiasm. And I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Have you ever wondered what Jingle Bell sounds like in the minor key? I just saw Bill Bailey and he does this sort of thing a lot. It's <laughs> so you're like from to Gets a little bit dark, doesn't it?